I think the idea of we are our own obstacles, our internal, you know, dialogue through all these characters is the obstacle to overcome in achieving kind of happiness, love, you know, everything in life, which I think is so universal. And that is something that we definitely took, even though the way the head characters work in the television show is very different than kind of how they worked in, in the in the uh, musical. Well, to start off, I wanted to ask you, if your inner thoughts were expressed through musical numbers, who would you want to be singing them to you? I would never have said this before the show, but now I'm going to pick May Women. Why would I not want May? I mean, she was just, I, why would I Why would I not want her to? Yeah, May Women is pretty good casting for yeah. a voice for her to be singing to you. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Katie Finneran also feels right, um, who plays uh, Lindsay's mom. Very hey, nice. Okay, good choices. <laughs> well, had either of you seen the musical that this series is based on before you became involved with the show? Like, what really stuck I out to you about actually, the cast? I, I saw the there. There was a production of this show in La Jolla in two thousand fifteen. I want to say, um, and I I actually did see that production um, and uh, had talked to Bobby and Kristen at the time about the potential of developing the show as a stage musical and kind of coming on as a book writer. And um, we talked about, because they were interested in continuing to develop it. And, you know, that then they got really busy with life and I got really busy with life. And then fast forward many years later and there was a pandemic and uh, Tommy Kale, the director, had called them and asked if there was anything that they might be interested in doing uh, for television. And they up here was a project that they'd always loved um, and had never quite felt like they would cracked it entirely. Um, and they felt like there's maybe something about um, putting it on screen that felt right. Like uh, there was a way visually of capturing what it actually feels like to have voices in your head all the time that felt like on screen, you could potentially um, express that in a way that was more fluid and more seamless than on stage. Yeah, well, Kristen and Bobby actually mentioned that, you know, the original musical and the show are really different. So what was it that you really wanted to preserve from their original story and bring over to this? I mean, I, I think there were themes, I would say, right, Stephen, for the most yeah. part that, that we that we brought over, like, can you ever really know someone, you know, can you ever really know someone is certainly was a was a guiding theme for us. And ultimately, you know, kind of the overarching theme of the whole of all of all eight episodes. Can you ever really be known? Can you ever know someone? Um, obviously, we were inspired, by, you know, we were inspired. So I never saw the musical, but I read it, I was able to read it. And we they shared all the music, which was really helpful. Um, I think I think the idea of we are our own obstacles, our internal, you know, dialogue through all these characters is the obstacle to overcome in achieving kind of happiness, love, you know, everything in life, which I think is so universal. And that is something that we definitely took, even though the way the head characters work in the television show is very different than kind of how they worked in, in the in the uh, musical. But it, 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 you know, I think that concept is certainly um, still the core of the television of the television show. Yeah, the and I mean, the musical component of this is obviously a representation of the inner thoughts in Miguel's and Lindsay's head. So did you work with Kristen and Bobby at all when they were writing the songs? I mean, because it is part of the storytelling component. Yeah, I mean, I think one of the the big misconceptions that I certainly had before I wrote a musical is that the, the process is kind of siloed into to writing the story and then writing the songs. And instead, it was very much integrated. And um, from the beginning, I would say, you know, Danielle and I, and then once we had a writer's room, we would get to a certain place in the story breaking where we had some sense of structure. And then we bring them in, tell them where we are. Um, and then they will have ideas for how songs could work in the structure that we, uh, that we've sketched, which would then change the structure that we sketched that then would change the songs that they wrote. And it becomes this very symbiotic process. So it's very much. Um, we're working very closely together, especially I feel like, you know, in TV, what's so challenging is it's so fast. Um, a stage musical takes, you know, five years to develop. Um, and it's the only, and you're only telling one story and this you're telling eight. Um, and so really the challenge was condensing that process into a few weeks time instead of a few years time, uh, which was, which was fun and exciting, but also meant, you know, we were we were pitching them ideas. They were coming up with songs super fast, like within days. Um, 
which was really fun, but also meant, I think, we had to be pretty certain story-wise of where we were before we definitely told them that they could start writing the songs because the worst thing ever is having to call Kristen and Bobby and say, so the story... <laughs> the story fell apart. The song you wrote no yeah. longer works. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Well, thank you guys so much for chatting with me about the show. Love it so far. Um, oh, yeah, thank you thanks so much. a lot. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Bye. Rachel. Bye.